Good morning. How are you? Did you have good breakfast this morning? Because I only had a coffee. So uh, let's eat grandpa. Who wants to eat grandpa? I would like to eat grandpa. Why do you not yes? Punctuation arch! Because, because of this fucking mint right here. Let's eat grandpa. Hello, here's your fucking comma. This is not uh, an exclamation to grandpa indicating let's commence consuming food of some kind. Well, we're assuming that what is being eaten, eaten is a food there. What are you actually eating? You're assuming it's food. So what's the fucking point of this one when uh, I have to navigate context and the tendency of the culture of here to uh, dick ass about with the meaning of words that puts me into a position of needing to question bullshit like that and then uh, oh was that really supposed to be somebody making an announcement because i didn't see any quotation marks here why do i not use uh punctuation uh well because i'm dealing with translation and even if i try i'm still needing to deal with this sort of problem where one sentence can have towards seven to eight different interpretations because i can't hear where the words are being stressed and then i saw it just became far too difficult this system is not working at the end of the day it's up to other people to discern meaning i can't control that but in the meanwhile the reason i've had to just drop it entirely unless uh unless it's absolutely necessary for a comma if that's the case then in the time-based medium i just break that off and move on to a, another frame so that's my methodology for now if i do need to insert a comma at this stage it's because it was really critical but otherwise the methodology is all right we just create a, a frame and this is in terms of the subtitle formatting there's the part a right so i needed to put a comma no no, no, don't do that. I just cut it off and move on to B, the second part over here. This essentially is the comma here. Let's see, is part A, grandpa becomes part B. Let's see. And then the movie continues. And then we go. Grandpa, uh, exclamation marks and question marks, yes, they're the only types of punctuations that I'm okay with for now. I don't really need to use them that much, but as for full stops, commas, even the semicolon so far for now, it's a, it's a have to wipe the slate clean. Uh, when I see moments of these elements becoming essential, then I review again in future in terms of all right I've, I've, i'm facing this problem in communication i need another tool then i reintroduce it but for the meanwhile the primary challenge is hello i'm dealing with translation translation and that's real fucking difficult so when i start adding commas and full stops into translated states that complicates it even more so i have to avoid it for now um uh, as for all translations so far from the beginning right to right now all of that is a rolling draft in progress this is a exercise in trying to uh, study meaning how meaning shifts because when I'm expressing myself and I'm making choices with language, I know what I mean, I know what I'm saying, I know what it is that I want to express. At the same time, I'm also aware that meaning in terms of how other people will interpret is going to be, uh, it's going to experience different, different directions, 
different interpretations based on where they've come from. It's a very difficult job for me to navigate when uh, my mother tongue has already been so heavily compromised and cut off. Get used to it!